we've got to sit there. So I'm there for, I'll bet that thing goes on the 11th or maybe not. Well, and this has been a week. <laughs> it was every night. <laughs> yeah. Have you been out every night? Yeah, and a couple of them, uh, two in a row. We, oh, 270 or so hands here at one thing, and then it's all goodbye on. things for the Senate dinner. Oh, yeah. Yeah. See, we come from from uh, from another one uh, too there. And, uh, that Senate one was nice. Yes. Very nice. And I thought Jack Danforth's prayer was just sweet. I mean, yeah. just so sincere. And well, he was a clergyman, wasn't he? Mm-hmm. An Episcopal priest. Wasn't Episcopal he? priest. Quite a guy. He's a good fella. How did your thing with Mr. Morris work? Did you just select him, or did he just ask if he could do that? Or? No, I think. Uh, no, I think somebody does this. This is the official biography, so it's... Right. There's some committee that decides all that? That it must be, because I was just told that he was, and... That's what happened when you went by eight points, and you started to walk. are things that are uh, national security secrets. Is this a backdoor way to block a trial? No. This is something that from the very beginning we knew we would have to do. Would you be at all upset if this prevented the prosecution of Oliver North? Uh, the law must take its course. Mr. President, you said several months ago that you believed both Colonel North and Admiral Poindexter eventually would be found innocent of any crimes in connection with the Grand Contra. Do you still believe that? Well, at this stage, I don't think I should comment on guilt or innocent for anything of this kind. I think the law's got to take its course. Please, please. When you say the law's got to take its course, Mr. President, you mean you're still opposed to a pardon until the legal process plays out? Yes, from the very beginning. I said that to consider a pardon would leave, uh, even it was if I did that, would leave them under a shadow of guilt for the rest of their lives. I think the, we have to let the judicial process proceed. Thank you. Thank you. Pardon, Cameras this way, please. Thank you. So, so they can get some nice footage <laughs> and pictures. Well, why don't we take about a minute? Very nice. 
This is rare. <laughs> <laughs> this is your getaway. Yeah. An hour. You gonna miss this? Hmm? Are you gonna miss this? I don't know what what I'm gonna miss and what not. I, it is a bit, kind of a bittersweet time. And it, much as uh, you know, look forward to California and all the a lot of things you think you're gonna miss and people you're gonna miss. Well, this sure beats uh, when we were in the governor's office and I used to go out to Kentucky Fried Chicken and spread it all out on the cabinet table. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And in fact, I wonder, if it, I, I think it'll be a little bit nicer than that in the Los Angeles office. We do have um, a restaurant attached to the building. Oh. And we have a little mini kitchen in our office, so we can pretty much do a regular lunch for you there. <laughs> Okay. No, Just another 30 I seconds here. I appreciate some input from you as to, you know, what you see yourself doing as far as, you know, we, we're not planning anything for a few weeks, of course, so you get adjusted to your new surroundings and everything, and, uh, and we're not going to commit anything anyway without... Uh, well, it would be kind of hard for you. me to say right now, and what with the book and all of it. I think I'm going to have to get on the ground first and right. find out. My purpose this time was just to thank you for all the nice things that you've done for me and all your wonderful staff. Enjoyed it, and I think you've done a lot of good things for the country. Well, thank you very much. I've got, I made a few little notes here of some things if you missed them that I might have. <laughs> good. Like, for example, your great interest in Noah in the Americas and the Caribbean, the work of the Council uh, of the Americas Society. And I'd like to hear your views on the progress that United States businesses making in Jamaica. Well, I'm delighted you asked the question. I've just come from a meeting at the Caribbean Central American Action, which is... Uh, I've already found you. Kansas City. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Jeanette Nichols. Hello, there. Another Kansas City. Thank you. Yeah, good to see you. Naomi Zavin. I was a 76 Hello. delegate in Virginia. <laughs> well, bless you. Thank you. Original. <laughs> Hello, there. Denny. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Judy Woods. Can't beat me. I'm a 76 delegate, too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for having me. Thank you. Charles Camelier. Mr. President, I see you. Last time I was here, Mr. Harvey. I haven't met you once since then. <laughs> Sir? Good to see you. Joe Vitrano. Joe Vitrano. Nice to see you. Diane Wyshynski. Our mutual friend, Mark Holzman, sends his readers. Well, mm -hmm. I saw him just the other day. I know you did. I know you did. Well, thank you. Julie McCabe. This is wonderful. Thank you. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Molly Faison. Hello. Hello, Harry. You always keep smiling. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much. Steve Jernigan. Hello. Pleasure to be here. Nice to see you. Chesley Pruitt. Hi, how are you? Thank you, sir. Thank you for having me. Lillian Noel. Hi. I want to thank you for the privilege of serving in your community. Well, thank you. Thank you for doing that. Millicent Monks. Hello. Thank you for seeing us today. Nice to see you. James Thompson. How do you do, Sean? I'm proud to see you. Thank you. Doc Vanderson. How are you? Thank you. Nice to see you. And Claire Chambers. Hello. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Well, I guess we'll go over here and gather them all together. All right. You should have a bag. Hey, ma'am, can you come up right behind these two? Sir? I'm not getting fresh. I'm losing my balance. 
Sir, if you can just there, there we go. Yes, I okay. Everybody's over here. Big smiles. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well. I was a few too, and I enjoyed that one a lot better. <laughs> say a few words about it. Uh, it doesn't seem like seven years that you appointed us to this committee and uh, we've worked hard and diligently and uh, following your mandate to see that the private sector supports the performing arts with minimum contributions from the government we wound up raising a million three hundred thousand dollars for the, our National Cultural Center well, thank you very much. <laughs> and I want to thank you again for doing that little bit for us, that message that you gave us uh, to support our Hollywood goes to uh, Hollywood Salutes the Kennedy Center honorees in, in uh, California. And uh, we, for that event, we raised $268,000. So your help all the way through has been very much appreciated. And we want you to know that none of us uh, would have wanted in any other way than to have served you in this way. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. This will be my yeah. yes. I will. This will be some of my reading at Camp David. Oh! <laughs> I'll be there before the afternoon is over. Oh, good. Uh, but uh, also, I just I do want to thank you, and uh, because I'm looking forward to Sunday also. Uh, when one of the honorees there at the Kennedy Center is going to be George Burns. <laughs> yes. He's, he is, you know, George uh, now, I think it's 92, and still working and all of that, and um, can still get good laughs. And I remember somebody, when he hit 90, somebody asked him what it was like. And George's answer, I thought, was typical of him. He said, well, I get up in the morning, I go down and out on the porch for the paper. He said, I look at the obituaries, and if I'm not there, I go in and have a cup of coffee. <laughs> Very good. That's good. So. Well, I do thank you all very much. Well, we thank you. It's been a great joy. Yeah. Yeah. We'll miss you all. And we're so proud of you and what you've done for this country. <laughs> we are, and, and we'll be very happy to welcome you back to California. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's kind of a bittersweet period right now. I should now. imagine. Uh, there is a, there's a sweet part about getting back to California. Mm -hmm. If none of you have tried it before, eight years away from California, you are eight years of perpetual homesickness. <laughs> yeah. That's right. But, thank you. Uh, well, I take come up to Wyoming sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.